Beta Steve player. All right, we're doing Inkling Zombie versus Roy Wee Fit. I like the color coordination with the edgy Inkling and the green zombie. Kind of going guns blazing, spot running straight in. I like the awareness there for doubles of like, oh yeah, I don't need to sit there in mine. You think like, oh, have Steve go back, have the Inkling go in. No, like, be flexible. So that was good. Good patience there too. They kind of just waited for either one of them to commit. They're, like, compared to the last game, you could see, like, they're way more patient. They're not just scrapping for the sake of scrapping. They're going for confirms and follow-ups. Woody's pushing advantage hard on Juju Ace. Get, ooh, tries to go in and save his teammate from the roller and gets killed for it. That F-Smash from across stage. That's scary. Ran out of ink, so couldn't keep up the rapid jab. But he's been putting in a lot of work, so he's got to find a way to build his own resources. It's an interesting thing about these like two characters on a team is like, in theory, you could just snuff them out forever and have them run out of tools. And considering we fit Roy, it's definitely possible, but it would have to be a major shift in gameplay. Ooh, catching card just landing, kind of falls right into the magma. Missing the offstage counter. Woody almost took that into a heck of an offstage reversal. Green team's doing a great job pushing this advantage without losing either of their stocks yet. Woody's pushing that advantage again. Reversal with the ball. Send him back on stage, not the spike. Ooh, the block with the up smash, so he falls off and stays safe. Green team's got a sizable lead. Smash out of shield. Oh. Woody barely surviving after that air dodge off stage. Spot losing his first stock finally to that side B. Ooh. Setting up the offstage anvil, force Carnage to recover late. Gives him time to go off and push Juju Ace away from the corner. Ooh, mixture of big hits. Carnage getting sit by the smash attack and an anvil landing straight on Juju's head. What he's kind of getting bopped on, Spot takes the moment to upgrade his tool and then go in and save his teammate. He's still putting the corner. Tex in and gets hit by the down smash, but his teammate gets hit by the down smash too. This time does jump out of shield as well to get hit. Spot bomb from across stage. Like you see like the team play there, like in the slight like push forwards. Like Woody or Spot will set up something that covers the option the other person is not directly covering. Or to extend off of it if their move were to hit. And like that's where it's paying off. Yep, and like right there, Woody didn't even need to take the moment to like, oh, cancel roller and run at him. Spot saw what was happening, stopped his mining, was like, oh, he's buried at like one whatever? Let me just run over and smack him. Great team play there and giving them a pretty commanding lead. <laughs> Not to see if any serious adaptations to gameplay can be made on top of a stage counter pick. In the town. The switch to Ness off of Steve. Interesting. The only real big difference I can think of for town outside of platform layout is that you mine with axe instead of pickaxe. But I don't know how important your up tilt combos are. So it might be a comfort thing. It also could be the preemptive, because Karn switched to Snake. So if he had a hunch that Carnage was gonna switch to Snake, switching to Ness for that matchup specifically could have been the play. And we're seeing a lot of the magnets coming out, both as just a hitting attack and also to absorb those grenades. <laughs> Ooh, spot going way too low. This is scary. Didn't see that. Oh, what he went down and hit him just with the back here so he could do it again. But he only messed up his recovery too close to stage. Like, that's the team play we're talking about. Got a bit of a lucky lead now because of it. Let's see how Red Team can further extend this lead, missing the side B there, so no early stock on Woody either. Good high recovery to go around it. PK Fire kind of stalls everyone at ledge. <laughs> Juju finds his way back to stage. Carnage still kind of landed and putting his hitboxes here and there. Oh, no follow-up off of the down throw. Snake down throw is fantastic in doubles, because the entirety of the animation, like, you could see because of how he's, like, blinking. He's invincible. 
it is the perfect like delayed animation for you to run in and hit whoever he's down throwing. Red team still holding on to both their stocks. Finally he's hitting one off. Woody taking one to the next, evening it out. Kevin Green team a slight lead now because Woody's still holding <laughs> on to his first stock. Ooh, great early stock on Juju. Starts a side B, but almost side B's his teammate to death because of it. Up B not killing just yet, and Woody not holding forward, so he's not getting the read of the neutral B either. Spot's kind of just keeping Carnage at base, so that it's between Woody and Juju. He trusts his teammate's ability to survive. Good PK fire stops both players in their tracks, and Woody gets the stock off of it. 169, he goes away to get ink. Carnage, great awareness, runs all the way to him, stops his ink grab, and takes the stock for it. 160, you ain't getting anything out of that down throw. You're dead. Just, you, you ain't getting out of it. Tries to go for the counter on Ness's PK Thunder 2, but Ness's PK Thunder 2, at its angle, just will go through it. You need to try to get at either like a precise point or counter the PK Thunder Bolt, as opposed to Ness. <laughs> the delayed hitbox because of it, I guess. And, and Snake being as tall as he is made him hit both of them with that F smash. And that fair just didn't have a place to go. PK Thunder covering high, Woody covering low. 2-0 and a fist bump. Woody and Spot are on their way to winner's finals of doubles. <laughs>